and welcome to PNG Technologies. We are a supplier of propane and natural gas custom kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the propane conversion for the CF Moto. This is the inverter. This is the I-30 which represents uh, 3,000 watts. Um, obviously this is a smaller unit. We're not going to do a natural gas kit for it. It's not that it can't be done. You just have to mount the regulator uh, to the unit itself versus propane it could be off to the side a little bit so we'll go ahead and show you the steps on converting this over and uh, we'll get going all right first what we need to do is we have to remove this side of the cover okay there's just a few screws on it we got to get access to the uh, carburetor so we'll go ahead these are all Phillips we'll go ahead take these out Behind this flap, you just pull it back. There's another screw up here. All right, then we got the bottom three here. Or actually four on the bottom, sorry. Loosen those up. And then there's three on the front. Or on the sides we got to remove there's three right here turn it sideways so you can see it let's remove those three And they are three more on this side here. And once we do this, we'll be able to pull that panel off. Give us access to the carburetor. All right, let's turn this back this way. We should be able to just pop this right off. To pull this back out of the way here. And then that'll slide right. Oh, there we go. Now we got access to the inside. We'll show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got access to the carburetor, we'll go ahead and remove the boot here uh, so we can install our slim adapter in here. So first we'll take hose off here, set that up, and we'll remove the two nuts on the uh, air boot here. These are 10 millimeter. And get them off and then because we are extending this out we're going to have to pull the um, studs out a little bit from the intake and about two full turns is what I found to be the easiest um, just kind of pull that to the side to set her down now what I did is I'll just pull this away okay and I take a marker and I mark on the one side of the stud just so I can visibly see it. And then that way when I turn them, I know how many turns that I'm actually doing. These were really loose in here, so I didn't really have to really pull on them too hard. But I've got it set, so that side of it's done. We'll go ahead and show you the next step. All right, now that we've got them backed out enough, um, again, once you get them out there, if you if you don't feel you have enough on, you can always go back and pull them out a little bit. But um, we'll give you a gasket here because this outer boot is obviously their gasket. So we'll give you one for back there. We'll get this up in here. And slide this back up on there. that and we'll get the nuts back going there all right then we got one more back here go ahead and get that one tightened down and then we'll snug them both you don't gotta over tighten them again you know, it's just a little bit of torque on those, seal it up. All right, put this on here, 
And that completes that step there, and we'll go ahead and show you the next step here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to install a bulkhead. I didn't want to come through the door or anything like that. You don't want to have to remove the cover every time you got to get in here. Um, so what we're going to do is install this bulkhead down on the bottom panel here. All right. Now, obviously, you got to make room so it doesn't hit the edge. So you're going to be kind of going towards the lower half a little bit. So I've made a mark, and basically all I'm doing is splitting the difference between these two, going a little bit lower. Now I got a step drill. Uh, you can use a hole saw for this too, um, but I'm just going to get it started here. Let's see if we got clearance yet. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, that should do it. Just clean up your little burrs there. Okay, there we go. So that fits in there nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in from the back. Okay, and it's going to be up in about that position when we do the hose here. So let's go ahead and get... Bulkhead tightened down. Okay, and this is one inch. All right. And you can use a crescent wrench if that's what you got. And again, I kind of just look to see which way I'm comfortable with this here. And I can loosen this up, pull this down a little bit. Just to give me a little bit more. Oh, is there? There we go. Right, and that looks like it's in a good position there. So we'll go ahead and tighten this down. Now you're going to want to kind of turn this to the side a little bit because as you tighten it, it's going to spin that. Once you get her good, there you go. And then let it spin itself up. There you go. Okay. And we'll go ahead and get a clamp on this here. that tightened down and this just makes it a lot cleaner once you get it done and I didn't want to drill into the cover you know I'd rather go towards the lower side and you still got access with your door for your oil and everything so that makes it nice okay so we got one more step we're going to install the fitting here the exhaust is on this side so we're going to face this back to the left you've only got six ounces of pressure here it's not much so you don't have to overkill these and tighten them so far just kind of hold on to it there and you might have to get a wrench in the back there too just to kind of hold that in place so it doesn't spin on you you can lock it down with these two go ahead and bring this over there we go all right, that's that step there. We'll go ahead and show you the next steps. All right, now we'll go ahead and get our cover back installed on here. Again, you're gonna pull this up here. And there's a little collar in here. You can kind of see it there. It goes in between that and the frame there. right back in. Make sure everything's good and lined up. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and get the screws in it. There's a couple of them. Not too many, but it's not that bad of a unit. Once you get going, it's fairly easy setup. side too and then we got the top there okay go ahead and put these 
three in here. It's a nice little unit. Really, really quiet too. Um, I was impressed with this one. This is a nice unit to have, something really easy and portable. It would be nice if you wanted to run it on natural gas, but they just don't make these little ones set up like that. And put the two back in top here. And then remember, you got one back behind the plate here, too. got our last three here and then we can go ahead and fire this baby up get her running on good clean alternative fuel all righty that wasn't so bad now it's the fun part running it so we'll go ahead and show you those steps here next okay now what we're gonna do is get this set up for propane we'll get this regulator assembly will come all pre-done for you, so you won't have to take anything up. Uh, you have the only different option you really got is you can add links of hose, whatever you want on it, and then we have quick connects for these two. So let's go ahead and install this regulator to the tank. Now you can go up to a hundred pounder on these two. So now that it's the same valve, so let's go ahead and get this tightened on there. and then we'll get this on here. Now what I do, obviously we tighten this bulkhead into plastic, okay? So I'll use another wrench to hold that tight for me. Then I know I'm not going to do any damage to that plastic. So okay, we got that. Let's go ahead and turn this to the side. Show you this. All right, make sure you're in the off position here because that is your gasoline shutoff. So when you want to run gasoline, you'll turn it to on position and obviously have your alternative shut off. So the propane, we want this in the off position. Let's turn this on. Now, this is your main adjustment right here, the power elbow. In is lean, out is rich. Now, we'll preset these as close as we can, but every unit's a little different. That's why there's an adjustment. All right, so we'll go ahead and loosen that up. Turn the fuel on. This is a primer button. This will allow fuel to shoot into the carburetor to give you a quicker start. So go ahead at one or two seconds. You'll hear it. shows you the propane steps on the CF Moto. Again, this is the inverter, the I-30, which represents 3,000 watts. Um, not that you can't run this on natural gas, it's just that the regulator's got to be mounted to the unit somehow. Um, it's not popular for natural gas, that's why we didn't do it. But if you're interested in purchasing the propane kit from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734 992-2648. Um, I hope again you like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. And thank you very, very much and have a wonderful day.